My name is Dr. Blake Schusterman, and I'm a real doctor with a real passion for cooking. Join me as I share recipes that are healthy, easy to make, and most important, delicious. Let's get cooking. Hi everybody, The Cooking Doc here, and today we're gonna to be making two sandwiches. And the reason I wanted to do sandwiches is when I talk to my patients and say, what did you have for lunch? They often say, well, I had a sandwich. And what's on that sandwich? And that often includes two slices of white bread, some spread, and then some processed deli meat, bologna or salami or ham or something like that on the inside. And I wanna talk about today why that's probably not the healthiest way to make a sandwich and that we can take those ingredients and turn it into a much uh, healthier version. So um, our sandwich today, the first one is this uh, kind of traditional chicken or turkey sandwich. And uh, the inspiration is my grandma, Julie, who would always make me a sandwich when she was visiting. When I would come home from school, I was 11, 12. She would put together this amazing turkey sandwich for me. Not complicated, but just so good. And I think if I can pass that recipe along to you, maybe I can teach you how to make a sandwich taste amazing and also be a little healthier. Okay, so let's get cooking. Uh, our first ingredient in our homemade fresh sandwich is going to be mayo and we are going to make our mayonnaise from scratch without any of that filler from the store. Uh, it's very simple to do, just takes a little bit of handwork with the whisk and you'll be done in about five minutes and you'll be so thankful that you did it. Okay, let's get started with that. Okay, our first ingredient is a teaspoon of water. We're going to put it into our bowl and we've got two teaspoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Already got that measured out. Okay. Then we've got a pinch of salt and an egg yolk. And I'm using pasteurized eggs here, which takes out the risk of salmonella. Now, if you are severely immunocompromised, you probably don't want to make your mayonnaise at home. Just buy it from the store. Okay, so we've got our egg here. We're going to put our yolk in the bowl, use this other bowl to separate it. All right, and now we are going to whisk this all together. Okay, so we're gonna use a cup of oil here, and I wanted to do it uh, healthy. One of the healthiest oils you can use is olive oil, uh, but I made it once with olive oil and it was too strong a flavor. So I've got half a cup of olive oil and half a cup of canola oil, and the combination there makes a really, really rich mayonnaise flavor. And there are a couple tricks to doing this one is you got to whisk the oil in very slowly. All right, so we've got our beautifully whipped, rich mayonnaise that we're going to use as our topping. And this is kind of our decadence in the sandwich. This is our fat. This is going to kind of tie the whole sandwich together. So I've got two pieces of thin whole grain bread. When you're picking bread out from the store, if you want healthy, look for 100% whole grain. And each slice should have at least three grams of fiber in it. And uh, if you stick to those rules and try to avoid ones that have a lot of extra sugar in it, you'll be in good shape. So we've got two pieces of bread. We're gonna pop that in the toaster and start getting the rest of our ingredients ready. We've got this beautiful heirloom tomato that we are going to slice and just bursting with flavor. Some people who have kidney disease can't have uh, high potassium diets and so they don't eat a lot of tomato. But if you put a couple slices of tomato on your sandwich, I think you'll probably be okay. So we've got a couple slices of tomato. We've got some sweet onion, and we're gonna take a slice of sweet onion. A couple thin slices there. And then we have our lettuce. And this is just plain old romaine lettuce. Very easy, but it's got, you see it's got a nice little, uh, that rib in the middle, and that's gonna give you a little extra crunch to your sandwich. Our last ingredient is our protein, and we wanna have some protein on the sandwich normally, and what I'm using here is chicken breast, and this is already grilled chicken breast, and we're gonna slice it up to use it. Now, uh, the typical sandwiches are made with processed meats, so this is your salami, your bologna, your ham, your bacon, um, anything that you would buy kind of already cooked and processed. And there have been some studies that show that by using that type of meat and eating a lot of it every day, you can increase your risk of cancer. So what I do is I take a chicken breast 
for uh, 10 chicken breasts and cook them all on a Sunday. And that way I have them to use throughout the week and I can slice them up and I can use them however that I want. Uh, the other thing I do sometimes is I will just roast a whole chicken and then you can slice up the breast from the chicken and put that on sandwiches or use it again throughout the whole week. All right, there's our bread. Okay, this is an important step. You mayonnaise the bread and you do it right when it comes out of the toaster because if you wait too long, that bread will kind of um, get like it tastes stale. So we're gonna just spread mayonnaise on a little bit on each side. Again, we've got our nice homemade mayonnaise. Even if you don't like mayonnaise normally, the homemade mayonnaise is so different. Okay, so we're gonna start there. Then our first ingredient is our chicken. And we don't need a lot of chicken breast. We're just gonna put a couple slices on there. A couple thin slices, okay. And then we have our romaine lettuce. We've got one nice big slice of tomato that kind of covers the whole sandwich. And this was always my grandma's key to a good sandwich. On top of that tomato slice, you put a little extra mayonnaise. And what that does is that really gets the uh, moisture to go all the way through the sandwich. Okay, and I like a little onion on top. Just a few pieces sprinkled there. And we're going to put our second slice of bread on. Squish it down a little bit so you can eat it well in nice one bite. And then we're going to cut it. Always cut it diagonally. It tastes so much better. All right. And we've got our beautiful sandwich here. Healthy bread, healthy meat, a little bit of fat with the mayo, fresh tomato, little crunch with the romaine lettuce. So good. Okay, now we are gonna make a kind of less traditional sandwich uh, using a wrap and using all vegetables. Uh, and it gives you a really nice uh, alternative to your traditional sandwich like the one I just made. Uh, we're gonna use a lot of good fresh ingredients here and let's start getting them ready. We're gonna use an avocado and we're gonna use half of this avocado. Avocado is a great thing to use if you're looking to add potassium to your diet and a little healthy fat, especially if you have uh, uh, high blood pressure and looking for a high potassium food. If you are on dialysis or looking for a low potassium food, you may want to leave the avocado off and use something like red pepper instead. So we've got our beautiful avocado there. I've got a little mini cucumber here, which I'm going to slice long ways. Okay, these are little pea shoots here. These are little, or you can use any microgreens. Microgreens are just a way to give the sandwich a little bit of uh, crunch and a little bit of almost bitterness, but just the right amount of bitterness. And I just love these on the sandwich. Uh, okay, well, let's put our sandwich together then. We are using a whole wheat uh, wrap. This is um, a couple hundred calories, low sodium. It's whole grain, lots of fiber in there. And we are gonna start with goat cheese. All right, this is just a spreadable goat cheese. We're gonna just kinda spread on our tortilla. Again, the, some of the keys to a good sandwich are you don't wanna stuff it too full so that you can't take a mouthful and get all the ingredients at one time. Uh, and then we've got a half of an avocado that we're gonna use. And if your avocado is really ripe, you can just spread it. If it's not quite ripe enough, we're just gonna cut it into a few little slices. And we are gonna to top it with our cucumber, a couple slices of cucumber, and our microgreens, and a little splash of pepper. And then we are gonna roll it up and eat it. And you may have never thought of putting these ingredients together on a wrap, and that is really the key to a fun sandwich. You put like 10 different ingredients on in different combinations, and then you find something you really like. And if the ingredients are fresh, you'd be surprised at the combinations you can make. All right, let's roll this up. Now, this takes technique. We'll see how I do, okay? 
all that should stay in except for the avocado which you have to pinch the sides when you eat i'm just going to cut that in half and you have got a nice fresh healthy wrap and i can't wait to eat this one too all right so here we go we've got our two sandwiches both very different, both fresh, a great alternative to your traditional processed meats in the middle of your processed breads. Um, and let's taste them, let's see how we did here. So let's go with the traditional first. Okay, lots of crunch, lots of flavor, I hope. Let's go. Mm. I think my grandma would be proud. Yum. Mm. Okay. Boy, that one's tough to beat. Um, let's try the uh, vegetarian one here with the goat cheese and the avocado. And just make sure you squeeze from the back there so it doesn't all come out. Mmm. Creamy avocado. Tart goat cheese. Mmm. The crunch from the cucumber and the microgreens. You have this for lunch, throw a little bit of fruit on the side, and uh, this is what I want my patients eating when they say they have a sandwich for lunch. These are two delicious, healthy, fresh versions. Take these and morph them into your own version. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today on the Cooking Doc Sandwich Edition, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching the Cooking Doc. Healthy cooking made simple and delicious.